I want to make a quick video. I'm going to say this really quick because we have to speak up before things get out of hand. Now, in my videos, when I speak on homosexual misogyny, I'm not talking about gay people, gay and lesbians. They are excluded. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about heterosexual, bisexual, and people who try to hide within the gay community that are out there doing bad things and, and calling themselves gay, but they have nothing to do with the gay community. Now to the gay community, like I said before, it's time for you to clean out your closet because everybody in your community is not a friend and everybody in your community is not a fan. And they'll try to do things to cause harm and disrespect to your to your community. There's lots of good gay people and lots of good lesbian people in the world. They have nothing to do with homosexual misogyny. So before y'all start trying to crank up that hate wheel, realize the people who are out there spitting that hate are the same ones who are homosexual and misogynistic. You're not gonna bother gay people just because they're not what you seem um, as someone you want to deal with or be with or date. And my thing is, if you, if you are upset about people being gay, why are you bothering them? Why are you why are you all in their space? My thing is, you don't like something like if something is really like you smell something that don't smell right. You don't stand there and play with it. You get away from it. You don't sit up there and stand in his face and play with it. That says something about that person. So like I said to the gay community, <clears throat> excuse me, the gay community are not bad people. It's when it comes to sexuality and people being overly sexual, which uh, in turn is from heterosexuals being oversexual, homosexuals being oversexuals, and pet and into pedophile and bestiality. It has to do with sexuality, not a person's being or who they are. And the person's being or who they are, that is gay. It's a community. So don't be going around trying to start start stuff with people because all those people that's trying to start stuff with gay people, you just letting the world know that you're a homosexual. And that's why you have, excuse me, and that's why you have a problem with gay people because they're not you and they're not like you. You are sexually deprived. You are a child molester. You are a pedophile. You do mess with animals. You go around raping folks but you mad at gay people. Gay people don't have nothing to do with you in that. So like I said, in my videos, it's me speaking to the gay community. It's not me saying that it's them. It's me telling y'all that y'all gotta clean up y'all closet and y'all gotta get fortified because these fools are trying to use and then abuse you. They wanna use your name to hurt you and do whatever they want to you. And they wanna abuse you and say that they're nothing like that, but why are they in your space? When you see something you don't like, I'm not talking about violent stuff. When you see violent stuff, you call the police. You get people involved when it comes violent. But a person who just being themselves ain't stutting nobody. They belong to Mother Nature. No one has a right to mess with that person. That person's not committing a crime. That person's not doing anything evil to anybody. So gay community, be on guard because things are starting to split up. It's cleaning time. We gotta clean, it. the heterosexual community gotta be cleaned out because a lot, it's a lot of debauchery going on over there. But the gay community, you have to be different from that. Don't, just because I'm gonna tell you something, this is what I've learned with people. Oppressors have oppressed and then they open up the gauntlet to let other people's, let other people do the same thing they do so they can uh, have a scapegoat. And it can say, see, other people do it. When a person does bad, don't do that with them because it's a trap. They're trying to trap you in their immorality and they're trying to get you stuck into the demonics. It goes all the way back to, uh, to segregation and people working for white folks. It's in the movie. They hide certain jury and see if the person will take it. Y'all gotta be aware of the traps and clean out your house and stop letting just anybody in because you just want to be sexual and you want to feel love and you want to have sex. Everybody's not your friend and everybody's not your fan. But you do have friends and fans, but your friends and fans can't stick up for you because it's so much homosexual misogyny hidden everywhere that nobody wants to be a, nobody wants to be involved in the debauchery of everything. 
You can be gay and you can be Christian. That is totally possible. But you cannot be homosexual and a Christian because homosexual leads to sexual immorality. It leads to misogyny. It leads to a, a degradation of people caring about everyone in the world and not just one particular sex. So I'm telling y'all now because it's about to start. This all this don't say gay. They're they're ready they're ready to ramp up on the gay community, and it has and it has nothing to do with the gay community. The gay kids are the ones that's been beat up on in school. The gay ones are the ones that are smart in school, and you about to mess with these babies. That's not right. These are children. These are babies. They're not out there in the streets having sex. These are babies. And anybody messing with a child is a pedophile. So you're not going to get up here and gang up on these children because of grown homosexuals and grown homosexual misogynistic people. You're not going to do it to these kids. Because they don't know nothing about that lifestyle. They don't know nothing about that life unless they're indoctrinated. And anybody who tries to bring them into sexuality, call them a pedophile. But don't get on these children about who they are. They don't know who they are yet. So leave them alone. And leave these adults who are to themselves, who were once children, who were once picked on in school, leave them alone. So gay community, you got your work cut out for you. It's time for you to actually stand up for yourselves. Don't hide behind other people this time. There's no more stonewall. You got to be the one to stand up for yourself. You can't just celebrate, you know, freedom, but not fight for it. You got to fight for it. You got to let these fools know who's the ones doing the wrong and, and trying to blame you for it. Because that's what bullies do. So we're not about to do this whole hate crime crap on gay people. You shouldn't be doing hate crime on Asians. No more hate crimes on African Americans. And all African Americans are not the same group. You have black people and you have African Americans. And some of them, African Americans are just, I don't know what's going on. But it's not an African American thing. African American people stood up for our rights. My father, he stood up for our rights with Martin Luther King. So you're not going to cause no hate among our groups because we've been through the slavery. We've been through all that crap. But gay community, you got to do your due diligence and clean up your community and stop trying to keep up with the straight people and heterosexuals out there swinging and they're married and they're swinging and they're out there trafficking people to, to, fix, to fix their marriages. Don't be like them. Because when you try to play their game, they're going to try to play with you. Leave gay people alone. Worry about sexuality. Get on that sexuality demon. Don't worry about gay people. That's why I make the different. That's why I differentiate between the two because there is nothing. You're not gonna mess with gay children, and you ain't gonna mess with gay people. Leave them alone. Now, once people get into heterosexuals and and gay people get into all that sexuality, that's when you. That's when y'all have a talk. But you're not going to, off the basis of who a person is, you're not going to mess with them because they're not the pedophiles. They're not the ones doing bestiality. And if they are, then they are labeled homosexual, not gay. And they are labeled heterosexual and heterosexual. Because what they're trying to do to y'all community, they're not trying to fix their own. They want to do all the sins but blame other people. Gay community, it's now your time to define yourself and clean out your closets because every community, whether it's gay, homosexual, um, any other group, all groups are going to have to clean out their house because you got some wild demons trying to roam through every community and trying to disguise itself as a friend or a, as a, a human within that community. And none of the communities need to be having that because heterosexual does not mean uh demonic but when you become sexually perverse that's demonic but being heterosexual and being gay that's not that's not the issue it comes into sexuality and bullying people and misogyny and homosexuality and in heterosexuality all the gay prides you did all that stuff y'all was doing celebrating sex and all that stuff it gotta stop because that's not what gay is
Gay is not about sex. Gay is about loving who you are. It's not about who you loving. It's about loving yourself. That's what gay is. So all the gay community, get it together. It's time to get, get y'all stuff together and get the, get the wrong ones out of your community. And I'm not talking about um, the ones you like to beat up on because that's another thing y'all like to do. Y'all like to beat up on other groups too. But those are those homosexuals hiding within your group. Don't, don't be eager to have a bunch of friends you call friends. They're really your enemies. They're disguising themselves, but they're really your enemies trying to tear you down and make you look bad. That's why in all other groups or some groups, we don't accept everybody. I don't care what that person, I don't care if they, I don't care. We are individuals. We don't accept, we don't group up and link up because that's not, that's, that's going to get everybody hurt. You got to call them out for individuals. Call out the ones within your community who are wrong. Call them out in, as individuals. Don't group yourself into a whole bunch of mess. And don't put it on trans people. Trans people ain't got nothing to do with your mess. If somebody's over in the trans world and they decide to switch over, a pervert decides to try to trans over, then everybody in the trans and everybody's going to get that person together because they know that person's not trans. And they know that they're not a part of heterosexual nor homosexual community. It's time to get your allies together and stop bullying other people because you feel like you've made it. Because it goes back to that trap. They're gonna trap you and they're gonna test you to see if you be the same way they are. And if you act the same way they do, they're gonna try to come at you and that's what they're doing now. And it's not transgender people that's me messing your stuff up. Transgender people are in their own realm. Heterosexuals are in, well, they supposed to be in their own realm, but you have homosexuals who pass themselves off as heterosexuals trying to mess up your realm. It's time to clean house because they are wrecking shop. And we don't do that whole uh, homo, no, we do not I'm saying homophobic. We don't do gay phobic. Homophobic is different. We don't do gay phobic. It's time to redefine yourselves and not off somebody else's identity. Stand in your own truth that no one else can stand in your truth and try to chastise you on your own hands. And I'm going to say this because I don't appreciate people bullying gay people. I don't appreciate people bullying heterosexuals. I don't appreciate people bullying transgenders. I don't appreciate people bullying elderly. I don't appreciate people bullying children. We're not going to do that. It's time to put them, them 3D, 4D glasses on and see who the real demons are and get their asses out of y'all communities all across the board. Y'all got to be the ones to fix it, babe. Like, not babe. I don't want to use that word anymore because the devil has taken that word and he's trying to use it to hurt people. We don't use babe no more. But get your life together.